All right, welcome back to Ricketts Reef. Uh, in this video, I'm going to show you the working of my auto water change system. Uh, normally, what starts it off is at seven o'clock, my apex unit there just starts spitting out an alarm saying, "Hey, hey, water change is about to begin." Uh, it's not seven o'clock right now when I'm filming this portion of the video, but that's basically what happens. Then I, I have the opportunity, if I want, to run into the other room to monitor it and watch it. It only goes off for a couple seconds, and then, then the whole system starts its process. So let's go take a look at that process now. So here we got the old salt water bucket. What's going to happen is the old salt water pump is going to pump the water into here. Hopefully, it should hit that black line. I've done some tweaking. Uh, and it's it's actually starting to work. So let's wait for it. Wait for it. Any minute now. Anyway, while we wait for this uh, magical occurrence to start, what I've been getting a lot of questions for is Ricketts, why don't you just plumb the outlet? straight into the sink since it's right there yeah and I, I obviously have thought of that and I may do that eventually but the reason why I got it going into this bucket is because of that the float switch if I plumb the outlet straight into the sink if something goes wrong with this old salt water pump now I say it just doesn't shut off there's no redundancy oh here we go started yeah there's no way to turn it off this thing could essentially just empty my tank this way it can only take out maximum uh, about 25 gallons at a time so that's that's not a bad thing I can actually put the water back in if it does somehow get on get stuck on pumping out and I can set my system right back to normal really quickly so that's why I do that extra redundancy sure I could pump it in the sink is that a good idea? Probably, possibly, but I'd rather have the extra safety feature. And while I'm at home every day, I can just come down here or every other day and just grab the bucket and chuck it down the sink. No big deal. Or if I'm on vacation, I take the little bucket out and it'll fill up to there. So there we go. There's a gallon out of the system. Now we'll wait a few seconds. Come over here. I think it's about a minute in between the change. If you can see my water level has gone down past the best. What will happen now is uh, the pump in there will pump new salt water over into let me see if I can sorry it's a little bit of an awkward into that pipe there. Uh, you might be asking yourself why you got that downspout there? Well, basically it's just to A, keep it quiet, and B, keep it from splashing around so I don't get salt creep all over the place because that's a bit of a drop from the outlet of the... Well, that, that's also my top off, the outlet from my top off and from my new salt water coming down into the sump. See, I've got a, uh, a little LED light there. So far the system's been working flawlessly for about, I don't know, about a week, week and a half. Uh, at the beginning it took a little bit of tweaking, not a big deal. Once that's done, everything's been fine. Now I did get a little bit of evaporation from my new salt water bucket, so I just figured once a week take the salinity measurement with the refractometer and make a little adjustment if I need to. I had to put in half a gallon of uh, just RO water into my new salt water bucket after a week, so that's not a big deal. It, the bucket is completely sealed pretty much except for that, so I don't get a lot of evaporation out of that bucket or out of my RO bucket. Oh, there it goes. It just clicked in. Well, you'll start to see that line there slowly fill up. That's the new salt water going in there. 
You see the little bubbles. I know I gotta clean my sumps. They've gotten pretty messy. And that's it. It's done. A one and a half, well one to one and a half gallon water change each day. Simple, simple. And then all I do once in a while is I'll, I'll take the hot magnum vacuum or some kind of vacuum system that I'll choose this week and I'll vacuum out the sand and the bottom of my sump if I need to, so on and so forth. So yeah, good system. Works so far. No major water changes. Big time uh, time saver. So yeah. Any questions, comments, feel free. Later.